Oh. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> you lose, you, big guy. I could see. I could definitely see that, like, uh, not. <laughs> yeah, I know. With with it cut off here, it, it looks like it's just, hey, Dad. You know, this is my. Dad bod power, powered by Diet Coke shirt. <laughs> Um, I don't, I don't blame you, Justin. Yeah, it, it, you were typing, in the middle of typing it, Van. Yeah, when Vanny lost it, it was like, yeah, now it doesn't seem like it's quite, uh, quite gonna make it. Well, welcome, everybody. Happy Sunday, or happy time zone for Flaming Baguette. Um, I always consider it, well, I was gonna say, I don't consider it the next day till you go to bed, but I don't think Flaming Baguette actually sleeps. So, um, yeah, I guess we can go ahead and say happy time zone. 25 damage. Yeah, those, so the, the iron, uh, golems, or just the golems in general, hit pretty hard. So, yeah. Um, well, yeah, we're going to continue Spyro. It doesn't look like, just kind of looking at how many worlds and stuff like that, we've already done like three or four worlds, or I think we're about to finish the fourth world, and I think there's only six worlds. And we did three, almost three worlds yesterday. So I think it's possible we might finish Spyro, but I don't want to say that for sure. You need plushies? <laughs> yeah, there's, uh, I, there's plenty of room. I mean, we can go all the way up to the Space Invader. So Neil already thinks it looks like a, uh, a teenage girl's uh, bedroom. So. He gets energy from unnecessary purchases. Oh, interesting. <laughs> there must be a story there. <laughs> well, yes, we do worry about you, Flaming Baguette. When we don't see you for for some time, we go, uh-oh. <laughs> there's only five. Oh, no, there's, there's, there's a lot more on, on there. Um... There's, there's plenty, there's plenty of, of stuff. Well, I've gotten, I've gotten one for every worlds in Spyro. Oh, in Spyro. Oh, is there only five? Well, I think then, I, I think we have two to go. I think we're, well, we're finishing one. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Shall we just get started? As always, we can take a break and play a game off the arcade machine like Zookeeper. Uh, Zookeeper was on there. I remember playing Zookeeper in the in the arcades back in the day. It does not have to be Zookeeper. It can be any of the games on boop, that arcade list right there. And if I beat the high score, I put <laughs> your name on the high score list. I'm not sure how many worlds we've played. Actually, you know what? There's a good way to find this out. First, we turn on the controller. This is a, a wireless uh, PS2 controller that I bought yeah you can tell it's it's kind of it looks very similar to a ps2 but the buttons aren't quite ps2 style so we don't get sued for our controller basically is what happened yeah it's and it's very shiny yeah I mean yeah I'm sure the plastics are, are different can you see all that else? also the other one says Sony on it but it's pretty similar. It's pretty similar. But look, this one has a wire. <laughs> yeah. All in order. I know. I'm, lo I'm looking forward to finishing Castlevania. You have no idea. <laughs> you have no idea. I'm ready to finish those Castlevanias. And what's exciting is, yeah, the next Castlevania is on the 3DS, so I actually play from the 3DS. You know, because original hardware, right, Justin? Yeah, exactly. Just cut it off, and then it'll be a wire wireless controller. There you go. That should work.
Um, okay, so yeah. So, okay. All right, so there was artisans, peacekeepers, magic crafters, beast makers. And so, yeah, I guess I don't know how, how much more there is. Oh, and look at that. It's all, it's all mussed up. It's stretched. Well, look at that. We're going to have to fix that. Hold on. Crazy capture card. Now it's fixed. Glad I noticed it. I have played, I have, I've played streams on the PS1 where it's stretched and no one said anything. <laughs> cause, well, cause I'm not, I'm looking at a monitor that isn't stretched, but so I'm not, I'm not playing from OBS. So yeah, yeah cool. So yeah, any, anytime you see anything like that, let me know. All right. All right. Yeah, sure. How many worlds are there? All right. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. There is six. Okay. I think we're on the fourth. I'm an old man on a Wi-Fi router because it required power cable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not everything can be wireless. And yes, the router needs to be. <laughs> so we're in Beast Makers, which is the fourth world. So there you go. Yeah, have you seen that? There was someone who did a did like a, a, a trick video that was like a wireless hose, a water hose. That was close. Dead. Okay. I think I have to go this way. Oh, come on. All right. Well, here, we can eat this thing. That'll... Okay. Eris Village. We've done that. Do we need to go this way? Thoughts on me having to remember what to do. Let's check out what that one is. Misty Bog. All right, we've done Misty Bog. This went down. Oh wait, hold on. In here. Nothing! You never got far in it, Justin? <laughs> yeah, is this giving you any nostalgia whatsoever? Not this way. There we go. Get it. It could be either one, couldn't it? I don't think we... This does not look familiar. That's the... Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I don't think I have a key. Yeah.
Yeah, sometimes I, I wonder, like, some games are really hard. And, like, you know, you think, is this a kid's game? I don't know if I want to get that guy. Is there anything down here? Oh. All right, let's go. Okay. Okay, so what's... Okay, there's that guy. What's this one? Metalhead. Okay, so that's the final boss guy. But I thought there was like a... Usually there is a, uh, a flying level. Oh, there's the key. Oh, fuck. I think what we would need to do is go up. Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, I liked the Ratchet and Clank games. I think I have them on my list. I'm gonna get back now. <laughs> I thought. Yeah. Well, that was not fun. Do I? I guess I still have the key, right? I, I see what I actually I, sh I see a mistake I made is I should have uh, should have used some of those save spots that were over here. Death warp. Yeah, exactly. That's what I did. Yeah. Well, we're about to find out if I actually got the key. I did. Okay. <laughs> Wait. I wanted that. I wanted that gem. <laughs> Alright, so let's see if there's something up here. I feel like I'm missing something. Ha! Damn. It's that one. Oh wait, no. This is back where we were. We've just come full circle. I see. Okay. It's been, it's, you know, it's been fun revisiting a lot of these games. Well, see, I wasn't, I really wasn't a console gamer until later, uh, because, like, I had a ColecoVision when I was a kid, but then I had a computer, uh, and then I was, like, like, a poor college student, so I only had a computer. And so I played a lot of computer games, um... Like the original Diablo and the original Baldur's Gate, you know, some of these that have big sequels nowadays. Um, I played like the original ones. Um, I still feel like I'm missing. Um, up here. Is this where I came from?
this one. Three tops. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I'm trying to... Well, I definitely know, like, the Ultima games I beat. So I definitely remember... Like, if I were to think about which game I beat, I would probably say Ultima 4. I definitely remember beating Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar. And that was the one where... So back then, you would write in, you know... I, I, I'm sure I've shown this before, but I'll go get it real quick. But when you beat the game, you would write in the origin, and then they would send you something. They'd send you... Um, they'd send you a certificate that you were an avatar. <laughs> signed by lord british so there you go <laughs> i'm an avatar i knew you all knew that but <laughs> yeah i heard games were made difficult um intentionally because they wanted people to call the help line and stuff like that I don't know if that's true. <laughs> I still, I'm wondering, like, so that usually there's that bonus level when you fly. Not that I really care about those levels. Well, I th you know what? Let's just go. Let's go defeat Metalhead. Let's do it. Confronting Metalhead. Definitely true for Nintendo. Okay. Ow! Holy shit! Fuck! Was that a banana? Oh, fuck. I guess he's made out of metal. Thus the name Metal Head. Oh, he killed me. Crap! Hold on. I'm powered by Diet Coke, as my shirt says, and so I must open it. <sighs> okay. Hope you're okay, Justin. And I'm sorry if it's this game. <laughs> I fell. Ugh, the camera in this game. Obviously, we got better at camera in the future. You don't turn very well in this game. Oh look, there's a free guy up there. 
Gotta figure out how to get up there. Oh, you're, you're, you're saying, you know, we haven't gotten any better cameras, what you're saying. <laughs> Look how he's chunking his, his friends at us. I see things are gonna chunk at us. Oh, he got me. Ooh, yeah, I need that. Oh, he's back already. There, we need that too. Get it. I just lined myself up with him and then, and then attacked. Is that the name of the dragonfly? Is Sparks? I had no idea he had a name. This big robot is all charged up to meet you. Attacking the power pole should disrupt its power supply. Okay. Feeling better? Alright, so apparently this is the guy, this is the boss right here. <gasps> oh, what the hell? Maybe I'm supposed to bat. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, I see. Interrupt his power supply. Got it. Okay. He's moving on. Oh no. Huh. I think that's just where we were. Oh, that's okay, Justin. Just want to make sure you're okay. Alright, let's just take out... Take it. It's green, we're taking it out. Oh, I see. It, it turns... Ah! Crapola. He got me. Crap. Ah, we went all the way back here. Okay, well, that's fine. We can do it. Now we know what to do. Here we go. <laughs> what sucks is I'm very bad at, at hitting. Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Ah, he got me. Got me. Oh, here he's gonna throw someone. Oh, look, he's destroying his own power. <laughs> or maybe that was him showing me what to do. 
Here, here's what you're supposed to do. All right, here we go. Next, next round. Oh crap, that's me walking right into it. Another one? Oh, there is one. There's one way back here. Oh my god. Oh, we got him! We got him! Woohoo! Hype! <laughs> one thing I, I like about these boss fights is they're easy. <laughs> these haven't been very hard. <laughs> These have not been very hard boss fights. Okay, well that's returned. Let's see what's up here. <laughs> As always, we are not 100%ing this game. But, you know. Stuff back there. How did you get back there? Ten and a five. I don't know how you get up there. Oh, I see. It's actually so, you know, I was talking about earlier of playing um, PC games. So I played Doom and, you know, and, and a lot of those games back then. Because they were on the PC. Alright, well, I never saw a key, so I don't know. I don't know how to get that. I did not ever see a key. Alright, let's, let's get out of here. You know what? I have a feeling we don't have enough dragons to go to the next area. So we're going to have to backtrack and, and find some more dragons that weren't obvious. Like, obviously, I've been trying to get the stuff that's obvious. Oh, they were. The console ports? Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> All right, let's see what he says. Uh, fifty dra uh, Rescue 50 dragons. I'll be able to sleep better at night. Um, all right, so let's take a look here. So we don't have 50 dragons. We have 42 dragons. Um, and this kind of tells us the dragons that we didn't get. So like in treetops, we missed two dragons and in misty bog. But even that is not enough dragons to move on because we need eight. And so that's going to be three. So we're definitely going to have to go back. Let's see. What did we miss here? Three, four, five. So that's five dragons. Six, seven. There's not even enough dragons. <laughs> what? All right, let's do this again. All right, one, two. Three, four, five. Six, seven. Seven plus two is 49. And he wants us to, to, to find 50, right? What the hell? Uh, what? Why can't I trigger him? Did I miscount? All right. Rescue 50 dragons, right? Okay.
We have 42, which means we need 8, right? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Artisan has more levels. So you're saying, I didn't even go to some levels, is how bad I did. <laughs> like, at the very beginning of the game, I, I still didn't go to all of them. All right, so I guess, I guess we need to go back to Artisans and find some of the dragons. All right, so there you go. <laughs> exactly. We must, we must minimum enough to beat this game and moving on. <laughs> I really love these loading screens. They're really good. All right, so there's one in here that we totally missed somehow. Look at that. I've already gotten better at, at, at oh shit. <laughs> As always, I, I talk shit and then... <laughs> Are they really going to be sold into slavery? That's terrible. Well, we've got to stop that. Where's the... Oh my goodness, the sheep. Please. I just want one butterfly. Where the fuck did they go? <laughs> yeah, you would think I, you know, I would need them for uh for Fry's quest. There we go. Oh, this is sad. They're all quaking and sad. And then I'm like killing them. Not there. Oh wait, Town Square. Did we do Town Square? We did Town Square. want these dragons saved. They're evil. Uh, okay. This is the very beginning. Oh, I didn't even see that one. Or did I? Dark Hollow. Did I do Dark Hollow? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Here's one we didn't even do. <laughs> oh, those are butterflies.
Ow. Well, that's a fire. Should I light the fire? What happens if I light the fire? Something should happen. Dragon. Big enemies like this Gnork with the club cannot be charged, but a quick flame that should defeat them. Yeah, no, I, I agree. That's kind of why I was saying, oh, we need more dragons. Let's go to the first first levels. Just, there's been plenty of butterflies in, in this level, too. Alright, so... <laughs> so we've only found one of three. What's interesting is we're already at the end of this level. Like here's already the return home. So the levels are very not linear. That kind of sucks. Ah! Hey, Provongo, how's it going? Welcome. Right, let's, let's do some gliding. Oh, see, there's a there's a treasure with a key. Let's go this way. Oh, this I think this is where I came in. <laughs> Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. I did finish Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah. <laughs> and you can and you can figure out how to end the stream. That's funny. Are you anxious? <laughs> yeah, this is actually Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course, they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. Yes, I know that. Oh, it's a one. <laughs> I mean, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed Tears of the Kingdom. All right, let's try down here. Ah. Oh, fuck. Oh, I see. His belly, he's got... <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. I got it. I gotta get his back. <laughs> I can't I guess I can't ra I can't ram him. There I got him. 
<laughs> hey, Israel. <laughs> I don't know. Aha, here we go. Oswin? Spyro, want to know a secret? Use the triangle button when you want to zoom in and look around. Oh, your secret's safe with me. <laughs> Oops, save. Alright, we got all of them. <laughs> Did you already? Oh, come on! I can't believe that happened. Alright, I got the key. Alright, so let's head... Alright, how do we get out of here? Okay, I see. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That was only for Ricky from Xenoblade. It would be completely safe to use Rule 34 with anything else. Oh my god, no. Oh, did you see that save? <laughs> Whew. All that Lara crafting helped me right there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> For anyone else who needs the link. So wait, what is that when running into belly dragons? <laughs> oh man. Adding for clarity. Okay, okay. I see. <laughs> the fuck ability. Oh my goodness. From the remake? So you're saying the, the remake, the dragons that look... Actually, I think uh, Flaming Baguette was telling us that they they were beefier. <laughs> Ricky's only pants, exactly. <laughs> Part XXX. We did, we did get up to 32 for Tears of the Kingdom. Okay. I think it was this way to get home. Or, or not. <laughs> they absolutely knew what they were doing, huh? They knew who they were appealing to. Oh, there's a free guy up there. Holy shit, we gotta get that. Okay, I know how to do that. Alright, here's what we do. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Oh, I can just go. Okay. Boom. <laughs> Future connected. The expansion. Just start with stream 30. Okay. <laughs> You're making jambalaya. It's Neil's jambalaya is awesome. <laughs> We had hamburgers tonight. Nothing too special. But they were tasty. Okay, mainly because I didn't burn them. So last time, Ricky's OnlyFans. <laughs> the, um... We, uh... 
last time, last hamburgers we made, Neil put a kind of a, a different kind of cheese. I'm not, I don't remember what cheese he put on it, but I walked away from the grill and the cheese had melted and just like caught on fire. And so we basically, we had charcoal briquette burgers last time. So this time I made sure, well, we didn't use the same cheese this time, but I made sure to not leave the cheese unattended for very long. <laughs> Sticky Ricky. Oh man. Okay. So we've, we found, we found a level we didn't have. Oh, see, we didn't even wait, wait. No dark hollow. That's the dark hollow. Yeah. Wow, you really could 100% this game. It gives you all the stats in order to 100% this game. All right, so we still haven't found a dragon somewhere in here. Let's go, let's go this way. Oh my God, there's a dragon right there. How did we miss this? This is like a whole area we missed. How is that even possible? <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, I live that, uh, Israel. I live those. <laughs> I remember those ads for Diet Coke and stuff. I wasn't sure where those nuggets were from. Cool flash. Do that again. The artisan's boss has threw a portal behind me. You can challenge him now if you feel you are ready. Oh, cool. Well, let's save. Drink some more Diet Coke. Was it McDonald's? Toasty. So we missed, we completely missed the first boss <laughs> from the first level. There you go. Oh fuck, his little hellhound. What the fuck? What the hell? Okay, apparently I... Oh, they just take two flames. You just love old stuff. Oh, he just squished me. Well, that sucked. Inspired? <laughs> well, it's, it's, you know, it's interesting because if you think about it, a lot of those ads were very manual. Like there was no computers to lay things out, right? You couldn't, you couldn't like lay an, a, a thing out in the computer and then print it or anything like that. So a lot of times it was photographs of photograph, you know, like the photographs of the burger and the chips. And then they had to do the lettering and place it and then take another photograph of it. It was all very manual. Uh, just, uh, Yisrael has been posting some old ads to, um, to the discord. Neil's asking a question. <laughs> yeah, Neil, Neil will, uh. He's gonna he's gonna give us his analyst. I'll take a look and give you analysis. Analysis. Analyst. No, analyst would be assist. Oh, okay. Uh, you know that wouldn't be an um, that would be. Oh wow! Yeah, so Neil does not like uh, the heat. Ah, see, I moved that time. I don't put, I don't put, so if I make it, I don't, I, 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 it's funny. I start with a Zatarans mix, right? And originally it was Jason making it with the Zatarans mix and a, and a sausage. And that was it. You know, per the instructions on the box. Yeah. I follow instructions. And I have slowly morphed to this into this big production where <laughs> I, I start with an onion and a pepper and some celery, 
and cook it down in olive oil and add a can of Rotel to it, but it's mild Rotel. Uh, and um, I add a can of chicken to it. Um, and the, the cut up sausage, I usually brown the sausage off uh, in the pan. And then I, um, I put it, uh, some of my own Cajun seasoning in it, which is not super, a can, yeah, a can of chicken breast. Uh, it's, I mean, like if I had some cooked chicken, I would just do that, but I often don't just have cooked chicken sitting around. So I use a can of chicken. Nevin. Um, yeah, it's just, it's like tuna. It's just like little chunks of chicken. Um, originally, so I, I like tuna salad and chicken salad. Of course, I live with a bunch of people who don't. So I don't really make it, but unless I want it. So because I'm trying to stretch it for more people, I put some extra rice in it. Uh-oh, here's the boss. He he's, well, one, he's got a sickle, so he's obviously death. Um, and I guess he's supposed to be not everybody a with, pumpkin? Not everybody here would eat crap. Okay, I guess we killed him once. Okay. Oh, but probably what I do most for the taste is I... Oh, it's just a little sheep. <laughs> I put a, I put a can of a small can of tomato sauce into the water. Oh shit! I never think anybody would want to see like when I make something oh, like no, that. Oh no! I died. Crap. Sorry. What were you saying, Neil? I never think anybody would want to see like if I'm making something like that where I'm starting with a box. Everybody's so creative. Right? <laughs> Are you talking about this ad that he put a photograph of? Yeah. Of, like a salad? Yeah. It's a crispy combo. Is it from Wendy's? I thought it, I didn't know what it was. He said it's McDonald's. Yeah, I guess those are those weird McNugget shapes. So I can tell you that the way they used to do it is uh, some of it pretty, but by the eighties, there was some of it being done on computer. Not many people had that stuff, so you would still probably go to a layout firm, a layout design firm. And I can remember my dad doing that and getting back basically what was camera ready artwork to uh to you know, submit to uh, like a newspaper to advertise or a magazine or that sort of thing. Or to send to a printer. I think I didn't. I guess I, I guess I, did I finish the level? I guess I did. I, yeah, I agree. I think I think people want to uh, save time cooking. All right, so all right, hold on. I don't know if I would stream it or if I would video it though. Although I guess I could stream it and then bit turn it into a video. My I think cooking would well. They do. There are cooking streams, uh, but uh, I would think it would be difficult it, though to do like cooking live and and deal with talking to people exactly. Um, and keeping up with what you have to keep up with. Yeah, I would, if I were you, I would just do a YouTube video, but yeah. 
you watch plenty of cooking YouTube videos, so you could just kind of emulate one of those. There are a lot of people that do them as TikToks, but I like I. I'm that not takes a lot anything. more editing. I'm not thinking. I'm not doing anything that's so easy usually that it would conveniently fit into a TikTok. Well, usually they just kind of quick cut. They just dump shit into a thing and stir it well, around. They, and throw well, it in they the just oven. kind of do. Um, it's like quick things of you making it. Like you could you could do a YouTube video and then cut that into a TikTok. I could think. I would think. Yeah. You could have a dump dinner. Have you ever taken a dump in a mug? When I get home, I like to take a big dump and it's all sticky and gooey. <laughs> all right, you're gonna have to put a link to what we're <laughs> what we're quoting in the in the in the Discord for people who don't think we're completely crazy. It's a was that Djibouti Dubs? Yes, yeah. it's a Djibouti Dubs. Yes, yes hey, hey, it's your girl Kathy. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly there. Flaming, I got it. Hey, it's your girl Kathy. Here you go. Oh, let me go check the check the cake. Yeah, Neil's Neil's been baking. That's why he hasn't been here. All right, so we're missing a dragon somewhere in here. I wonder if it's up in the green area up there. Yeah, see, I didn't get that guy either. He's up there. Can I, I go up here? Can this, will this shoot me up? It will shoot me up. Where'd he go? Get I'm him! Having to, I'm having to kind of guess on the top. <gasps> I fell. Are you making one for your sister and one for us? Or are you just making one? Basically, one. yeah. yeah oh, okay. I mean, because like to make the entire cake and send it, it would be... you. So you're supposed to make it in a tube pan. Mm -hmm. uh, and it makes a pretty big cake. And I don't like to make it that for us because I'm usually the, maybe you would have a piece, but I'll meet, I'll eat the whole damn thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nobody, nobody else will really touch it. Yeah. Uh, I tell you who really liked it was your parents. They liked to eat a piece with, with coffee. With coffee. Yeah. But that. That was, uh, that was basically, that's like, uh, I mean, like in that cookbook that I have that my mom hand wrote in a cash journal, mm -hmm. um, it was called Alan's cake because it was, uh, but it's funny because the recipe is basically on the box of cake flour. It's a little different. Uh, they're, they're making, they're putting more leavener in it. So it's a lighter cake. It's funny that recipe you can really play with the leavener and and get an incredible array of uh, textures. Well, I mean, I don't always do it if I don't have time for it, right? But like what I do is I, you know, I, I soften the vegetables. I usually don't brown them, uh, maybe a little bit. That's like if they get it gets away from me, but like I'm trying to soften the stuff up and usually the celery is the last thing to really break down some, but you don't want like crunchy celery in your jambalaya. It should, you know, all sort of blend together. And, um, so oh, I'll scrape all the vegetables to one side and pour a little more oil into it and, and sort of fry them off. Um, 
but usually I, I put so much in that it doesn't, you know, they all don't get browned and like I may only do it on one side and get tired of it, you know, like I'm trying to push it further. I usually deglaze the pan with some red wine because I have some and I like to do that. And it adds some flavor, but you know, by the time you eat it, you don't taste it really. I build layers of flavor. Oh yeah. Oh, do you think this is where it is? Oh, look, I found a little cave. Oh, no, I found the key. I don't know. <laughs> I found the key, but I don't know where the locked treasure is. What though. the key is for. Yeah, well, usually there's a locked chest. <laughs> oh, is there something down here? There's the dragon! I found him! And the locked chest. I don't no! know that... <laughs> I don't know that I would make that if people were coming for dinner. Oh, jambalaya. Yeah, yeah. Like it's I actually we consider it kind of one. There's meals we make on the weekends, and then there's meals we make on the weekdays. Really, more of a kind of a weeknight thing, and I yeah, really probably turned it turned it a little more into something that would probably not be a weeknight thing, but um. Gavin. What's the I doubt he cares about that guy. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong, like me. Uh, sure. All right, so we almost have 50 dragons. Let's, uh, shit! It's like the reverse toilet bowl. Yeah, well, I'm trying to get to this chest. Billy Mitchell. Oh, well, I know about Billy Mitchell, and I know, you know, I don't know much about the scandal. I I know he was he played he had the highest score for Donkey Kong, but did he cheat to get it? And I know he has a terrible mullet. Yes, he does. <laughs> All right, so we've got everything here. And so I guess what we can do is exit. <laughs> it's being generous. Find where the exit was. I think it was over here. I would say he has the worst mullet I've ever seen. And it doesn't even look like real yeah. hair. He used to run splicing to get his high score proof. Ah, okay. Okay, so. So we got all the dragons in this level now. So we need to go find the the balloon. I think it was in here. Yeah, here it is. And so we got all the dragons and artisans now. Uh, three, three, three. Six. We got all the ones in peacekeepers. So actually, we need to go to magic crafters. Interesting that there's wait, are there five or are there six? Now now I'm confused. Oh, there's six levels per per thing. 
Oh. Hmm, interesting. So did we mi miss something in Peacekeepers then? Okay, so no dragons. Okay. Yeah, and I don't really care about the flying levels. Uh, so let's go to Peacekeepers, because it looks like I'm missing one in Peacekeepers too, right? <laughs> it's a lot of information. It looks weird that a storm can do this. What is that? It was this one down here. It's turned into a tropical storm that's expected to do here. Go across Hispaniola and then turn into hurricane on the other side, going out into the Atlantic. I really don't care. As long as it's not hitting here. As long as it goes out here. into the Atlantic, right? Oh yeah, these guys. I, I don't know if you saw me post, <laughs> posted, I posted the clip. I turned it into a TikTok. The one where the guys moon you. Oh, yeah. I don't know how to open these chests. All right, we don't want Dr. Shem. Done that. I want Dr. Scholl. Dr. Scholl's? Yeah. Do you need, do you have some feet problems you need? I mean, always, out. you know. How do I get over there? Happy about this. smell the cake it smells good I'm sorry we haven't invented smell-o-vision oh wait I didn't even see this one over here well I mean dry Canyon I think I've been to dry Canyon I'm sorry if it's driving you crazy no no it's not driving me crazy so it's good It's like the worst polygonal butt, too. <laughs> Thanks, Israel.
Dry Canyon. <laughs> I keep waiting for them to fart at your fire and it burst back. And in burst into face. flames. Is this thing? Can you light this? I mean, I had an idea that I could, like, uh, could, like, use this against the chest. <laughs> well, I guess that that is how you're supposed to do get the open those chests. <laughs> Your polygons bring all the dragons to the yard. Roast me. <laughs> Lift town. Definitely done that one. Through here. I feel like I need to go over there. I don't know how to get over there. I'm pretty sure I can't walk on this. Well, there's a, you know, there's a thing here. What if I, can I move this? So maybe, hmm. If I, okay, I was able to make that. All right. Ah, look, oh wait, there's the thought thing. Do I? No, I have, I've already gotten it. So I've obviously been over here. Why don't I have this key? Or maybe I never found the chest and it just puts the key back. I've already gotten that guy. Well, is this? Oh my God, that really killed me. Really? Hey, Sap. Oh, here, we're gonna kill them all again. And get these orbs and get a free guy. I can't believe that happened. Well, I wasn't sure. I thought maybe it wasn't death liquid. It's not really kind of like known whether it's death liquid or not. <laughs> Let's see this. Let's see this one's butt. Still can't believe this. This does it. How long will he do that? If I just kind of run around him, does he still? 
That is so weird. I just <laughs> for some reason they make me think of the uh the the soldiers of the wicked witch of the west. Yeah, I love it. I feel bad cuz that one was scared and then I killed him. Oh, I mean I wouldn't feel bad. They're not real. True. All right, so there was definitely that one area that I didn't go to. So let's go see if we can get over there. Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait. That, I don't, have I been there? Oh, I, no, wait. No, I think that's night, I need to think that one's night light. I wish I could tell from here. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's a reason it's called the cold hard truth with Neil. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? <laughs> what did I say now? No, you, it was when you said, oh, well, don't worry. They're not real. Sorry. But I mean, if you ever thought they were real, I would worry about you. <laughs> You'd worry about me. <laughs> yeah. I'd worry about your ability to discern reality uh, from fiction. I mean, there's enough people in the country that already are like that. <laughs> we, we don't. We don't, we don't need, need more. Yeah. All right. I opened. I got the key. Look, I, I have all the treasure. Said that. I have all the treasure. There's no more treasure to be had. But there is a level that I have not found. There is literally a level I have not found. I thought it was going to be in there. I don't think it's like in here somewhere, is it? This is the beginning. Oh, it's it's okay, Justin. I don't I don't really care what other people think of me anyway. <laughs> I, I try not to worry about it. Okay. That's not that one. Aha, here we go. It's funny because I was like sitting here trying to figure out like where I was supposed to go. <laughs> here you go. Neil, look, read uh, Justin's question there. In games, I don't. In books, I do. You are a fast reader. I mean, like, yeah, like, in Mass Effect, I never felt like I was that guy. Caution, little one. Wait until you grow big, <laughs> like me, before charging those large enemies. Ha 
<laughs> no, I mean, I liked it better than than he did, but... Um, oh, Mass Effect? Yeah. Yeah. But then I wasn't trying I was to fine. just... I wasn't trying to play it through and not do any of the uh, quests for the people. and <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's true. Like, like, he didn't really get any much of the experience of the game because he was just trying to power through it. He was, he was like almost speed playing it. <laughs> um, I was just doing the main story and not all the side stories. Yeah, but I mean, in any of these games, there are invariably side stories you have to do for the main story to work. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was to be called the main story. If, no. If your main story doesn't work without doing side quests, then so, it's so, not part of so, the main story. So you just played a game. That if you didn't do side quest stories, you couldn't do the main story. Yeah, that's true. But I felt like um, it kind of pushed you towards those. It, it it does eventually, but you get the side quest much earlier. Yeah. Um, and it and it never shows up as the main quest. It shows up specifically under side quests, but you still have to do it for the main story. Oh, why didn't I get Oh, I thought I said Trogdor. Spyro. Some big norks Yeah, I mean my reading armor. skill is never and in the ice cave, armor uh. can make their feet very slippery. Hmm. Right. Cake. We got fifty dragons. Oh wow, there's three more dragons in here. But we'll, we'll just keep playing. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> and so you were like, let's do the heavy story uh, of uh, Xenoblade. <laughs> Uh, but I really liked Xenoblade. I liked the story from it. There's only one optional request. Yeah. Yeah, you did have to kind of go through the whole thing, didn't you? Did I get him? I like the first scene of late. I haven't played any of the others. Wah! Die. Well, I mean, we made him play all three of them together, and that was probably a mistake. Yeah, Mass Effect. Yeah, I should have, I should have broken those up. Yeah, I learned that lesson. It's Andor. Thank you for releasing me. <laughs> he didn't have much to say. Although, I mean, you could play Andromeda, and that's like playing all three. Because it goes on fucking forever. It doesn't. Yeah, I am going to play Andromeda. Prepare for the side quest. <laughs> this is weird. This doesn't really have a story, does it? This game? Um, yeah, the, uh, there was a, like a troll guy and he turned all the dragons to crystal and Spire is like a little dragon. They're like big dragons. Yeah. And I'm saving them. I, I think it's funny that you're saving them, but they're not helping you save the other ones. Yeah, sure. They poof into nothingness. Yeah. Yeah. It's all up to me. They're tired. Yeah. 
We've been injured. Yeah. There's the return to home. Because the insulted the troll guy, is that why? I know he kind of does it at the very beginning. Well, I mean, it, this hasn't seemed super story intensive, I guess. It's been like, yeah, you're just going through and doing something. Yeah. There's some reason that you're doing it, but it doesn't appear to matter. Now, wait, did I? I was going to say, I didn't get this guy. Asher. Thank you for releasing me. Weird lips. Yeah. <laughs> There's another free guy. What? There's all those free guys up there? Holy shit. How do you get up there? I almost fell. How do you get up there? There's like no way to get up there. Can you not fly up? No, you can only glide in this game. So you would have to come at it from a, Is there a, a door higher. Door there must be a, a way to get up there. Oh, I wonder if you got up there and s glide all the way down. Oh, I need to get up there somehow. All right, <laughs> confused. Did I come from another direction? I came from here, okay. Yeah, so I probably have to do this that I was doing before I came over here. Oh my god! I don't want to fall. They have more varied appearances, yeah. But you know, original hardware. Just trying to get my dragonfly a snack. <laughs> it's a PS1. Are you saying the remake is on PS2? <laughs> Yeah, I know that's PS1. <laughs> okay. Nice just to get those. those bats about now. Perfect. 
Well, he had just played PS1 games and a PS2 until his PS2 quit reading them. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I decided to play this one on the PS1. It's, I, well, it makes I have sense a PS1. Have the only the only thing is you're not using the original controller. No, it's just the convenience of. I mean, I don't have a PS1 controller. Um, it's nice having a wireless. Done well, Spyro. But some dragons thought you weren't <laughs> ready, but I knew they were wrong. But a PS1. Ready, all right. Ready for what? A PS1 controller basically is the same controller, but it doesn't have the analog sticks. And I'm not using the analog sticks. I'm using the the D the D pad. So. <laughs> False advertising. All right, we haven't taken a break yet, so let's take a break. Yeah, technically this is an original PS1 hardware. It is a PS1 ONE. It is uh, Evil Buds PS1. <laughs> yeah, but it's not the original one. Not the first ones, but the later ones. Yeah, they did introduce the DualShock controller later. Yeah. All right. Let's play some Fry's Quest. Exclamation mark join if you hadn't played last time. If you have... All right. Rikamai is going to start it off for us. Deals. We're not satisfied until you're not satisfied. Ready for battle. I guess I didn't anticipate us having to go back and play final. play older levels in order to get 50 dragons. So maybe we won't finish this game tonight. I don't know. We'll see. We still got two hours. So. Ready for action. Ready for action. Ready for battle. Ready for action. Ready for action. Shops closed. Have fun counting sheep. <laughs> All right. I'll be right back. See you in a second.
something, will ya? Ready for action. Ready for action. No. We aren't calling back. those Neil's heels. Formulated my potions with 25% less lead. Ready for action. Ready for battle. Any value that has is totally wasted on you. Ready for battle. I used to be an adventurer like you until I took an arrow in the knee.
Oh no, this is not looking good. Go Shadow Dragon, go! Oh. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. I haven't touched anything. I haven't touched anything. Thanks, Pass! Oh no! Pass just resubscribed for 33 months! Ow. <laughs> oh man. I haven't I haven't touched anything on the on on difficulty at all. Not lately. Okay, so is this Is this where we is this I think this is where we were earlier. Where I was saying if I could just jump from here, or maybe it's over here. Maybe it's down here. Yeah, it seems like it was that way. Those dragons are mean. They are not Spyro, Spyro nice dragons at all. They are mean dragons. All right, so let's let's try it. Yeah. So I mean, maybe I have the those enemies too hard. Yeah. So so much for that. I don't know how you're supposed to get those chests. Honestly. Okay, so we found Ice Cavern. So, Ice Cavern 5 of 5. So, we have all the dragons in the first and the second. So there you go. Oh my goodness, I, I'm a little too close with the camera. I can't, can't move the camera. All right, there we go. How do we return home? Oh, that's right. There was a balloon guy, right? All right. So we want to go to Beastmakers. So. Yeah, Beastmakers, but then we want to go to Dreamweavers. That's right, because we haven't unlocked that balloon yet. I could I could make the uh, the higher level monsters not as not as hard. I could relook at the balancing. Yeah, I think you're right. I'll look, I'll, you know, I'll make a note of, uh, to relook at the monsters. So 
for the balloon, and it's like right here. Wow, that was quick. I barely had a chance to patch that leak. Jump in the balloon and I'll show you the Dreamweaver's world. Alright, here we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we do have a lot of level high level characters. High level people. Oh my goodness, I just almost fell right off the edge. <laughs> I assume the mushroom is for butterflies. Yeah. This is already a weird world. Like they keep changing. Towers. Well, there's three dragons and dreamweavers. So... One right there. The fools you see in this world are invincible. But that does not mean they shouldn't be attacked. Sounds all right to me. That just took us back. <laughs> Dark. Dark passage. I love how the letters are in the... Uh... Yeah, it's going well. Or in 3D. Dark passage. If you... Dark passage. Yeah, talk talk about dark passage. How about dark pass? <laughs> See, they become a light and they don't die. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> okay.
fuck? Okay. <laughs> I have not watched the Dexter. Can be quite frightening, but you should watch the fools. I'd rather blame the fools. Now you're thinking. You're muted. I haven't watched it either. I've read some of the books. Omega Rainbow Death Bot. <laughs> yes, probably. Hellhounds or something? <laughs> yeah, I remember those arachnid queens. Uh-oh, did I lose my dragonfly? Thank you for releasing me. Her name Skittle. I probably need to add uh, the new. Oh, he killed me. I probably need to add. Um... I see. I see what's happening. It's the guy's light. If he's if he's lit, he turns them into. Puppy dogs, right? But if he's not lit, he turns them into these little hellhounds. Oh shit, he got me from way over there! I'm dying a lot in this level. Although I keep getting a freak eye, so maybe it's not so bad.
get everything. <laughs> that thing gets me every time. I need my dragonfly. I need my dragonfly. Dropping, it is dropping free guys. Oh, Cyrus so wants me to play some arcade mode. What would you like me to play? Miss Pac Man, all right. Oh, good, some butterflies. Next time I die. Oh, look, there's a free guy right there. Look at that. We're back up to six guys anyway. Almost up to seven. Oh, look at this. We're almost home anyway. Bakari. No, I think you just might be the dragon to defeat Nasty Nork. That's me, all right. Save. Oh, I want you to play Ms. Pac-Man. That's right. I, yeah, you're not listening. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Cyrus Borg wants me to play Ms. Pac-Man in our game art. Miss Pac-Man, definitely a classic. Forty-six, one sixty is the score we're trying to beat. If I remember right, that is a good score. Miss Pac-Man. Very classic marquee, too. All right. Let's play some Miss Pac-Man. How's it going? Hey, oh, welcome, Raiders. Welcome, yes. everyone. Sapphire Zeke was playing Pikmin 4. You just played regular Pikmin, right? The first one? I did. Thank you so much for the raid. I gotta, I gotta stay in class.
on. Oh my goodness. Wow. I did not do very well. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for the raid. <laughs> How was your stream, Sapphire Zeke? I did not. <laughs> I'm trying to beat 46,000 and I got 9,000. So, yeah. <laughs> Zeke and friends are here to, to aid your quest. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we're playing we're playing some Spyro the Dragon right now. But uh we we have this thing called arcade mode where I play a game off the arcade machine right here and we're playing some Miss Pac-Man, such a classic. All right, so let's uh we're going to play a uh clip from Sapphire Zeke and everyone should go give him a follow. Near the entrance to the desert. Oh, Tears of the Kingdom. Mom and I are in the business of training sand seals and renting them out to folks. The sand trout has made it far too dangerous to go above ground right now, so my shop is temporarily closed. But if you've got questions about sand seals, I'd be happy to answer them. I'm good. So <laughs> long as the sand trout is around, we can't rent out any sand seals. This I love your camera frame there. Operate. Maybe I should start looking into becoming an attendant to Lady Riju's beloved sand seal, Patricia. <laughs> Well, cool. Did you finish? Uh, I, I, I recently finished Tears of the Kingdom. And it took me like six weeks of uh, streams playing it. I, I got up to 32 streams to, to finish it. Over 130 hours of stream time before I finished it. But it was good. Well, cool. I, so I've played... I have played the first Pikmin, and I haven't played... Uh, I'm going to be playing 2 and Hey Pikmin, and 3, and then 4 soon. Not, taking it slow? That's cool. I mean, yeah. It's a fun game, so... Yeah, definitely, like, keep playing it. But, like I said, we're playing, we're playing Spire of the Dragon. We're going to get back to some... Uh, we're going to play a few more games with Miss Pac-Man, try and beat this 46,000... Score. I know I can get better than nine thousand. It was pretty bad, actually. But yeah, uh, thanks again for the raid. Everyone should go give uh, Sapphire Zeke a follow. All right, let's play another game of Miss Pac-Man. Oh, it's such it's such classic sounds too. This is this is these this is arcade sounds right here. Just that right there, and then that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, have a good one. <laughs> that was better. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> 
Terrible, so terrible. <laughs> So, actually, Ms. Pac-Man was made by Bally Midway. Bally Midway licensed Pac-Man from Namco in Japan. They were waiting for Namco to release the next game, and they were taking too long. But they made this, and uh, it did go to court some. What ended up happening is Namco and Bally Midway cross-licensed. Well, Atari didn't make Ms. Pac-Man. And Atari didn't make Pac-Man either. They licensed it from Namco. Oh. Okay. Sorry. So what you're thinking of is that it was a it was Crazy Auto, which was an upgrade to the Pac-Man arcade box. Oh, okay. And it was redone by Midway into Ms. Pac-Man. All right, let's try it again. Thank you for following. Where Atari fits into the story is that the same people had done a, an upgrade to Missile Command and were sued by Atari over that. Oh, 
come on! Ah. I mean, you can't, you can't blame it on your failure to move the character correctly. <laughs> They never caught me in the tunnel. Thanks, Great Mantis. Thank you so much for resubscribing. Yeah, tonight's not the night, Cyrus. <laughs> I have not been doing that nine months. We have a Twitch baby. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> you know, I was just thinking pass. Oh, no, 33 months. 33 months. Okay. I was, I almost say if if it was thirty six months, then it'd be three Twitch babies. But <laughs> thanks so much, Great Mantis. I hope you're doing well. Hope you had a good weekend. <laughs> yeah, I haven't actually played Miss Pac Man in a while, but actually, I'm usually pretty good at Miss Pac Man. I don't know what's it's just an off night tonight. I guess it's you funny because I feel good. In a long time. I feel good. I feel like this has been a good. A good set of, I don't know. I don't feel bad. It's just unlucky. <laughs> cool, great mantis. Thank you again for resubbing. All right. You you haven't played that one in a while. Yeah, it's been a while, but I I hate that as being an excuse. Because well, um, I mean, it's I'm usually pretty good. I mean, I've been playing Miss Pac Man since I was a kid. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but it's definitely a, a practice up kind of skill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny, yeah, because I like I feel like I get it in the zone and then I make a bad move. So <laughs> you can't play it on expert. Either. That's true. That's true. All right, let's play it again.
Yeah, it was better. <laughs> I could never play Guitar Hero or, or or Rock Band because I had actually played an instrument and the game wants you to start at a place you would not start with actual music. There we go! <laughs> Are you okay? I'm celebrating. <laughs> I got to the chase.
44? Oh, I didn't realize I was that close to the high score, too. Crap. <laughs> Dang it. One more pair. And I would have been I would have been there. Wow. I thought I thought for some reason I thought it was in the 60s. <laughs> it was a good run. It was a good run. You know if I get to the chase, I'm 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 there. Alright, let's uh let's play a little bit more Spyro and then we'll take a break. Ugh. <sighs> Thanks again for those of you who came in with the raid uh, from Samphire Zeke, or if you just stopped by in the follows. My follower requests or my follow alerts are uh, anonymous because I realize some people just want to lurk. So, oh, Flaming Bag wants me to add one. <laughs> so we can we can play it again, Cyrus. Next time you want to play it, Tekken Two. Yeah, we'll see if Tekken Two will work. But let's just take, you know, let's take a look right now at the arcade database, which is where I get a lot of that information. Tekken 2 has a yellow light. And so basically it's the graphics are not. So it should work. It's just the graphics might be a little weird. Which, I, if I remember right, Tekken has the same problem. Yeah, I think Tekken has some weird, uh, some weird stuff. Now, we have to look and see if it has a score, because it looks like time was the last thing I put a score on. So, so I'll try it. We'll see. See if it works. Let me add it to my list of things to do. And. Back into to the arcade machine. Yeah, sure, Flame Baguette. I always enjoy adding more, uh, more stuff to the arcade machine. Oh, Shipwreck wants me to add something too. Spider-Man 1991. Okay. Let's see what that looks like. Let me, I'm still on that arcade database site. Uh, is that that beat em up? Is it called Spider-Man the video game? Yeah. I think its official title is called Spider-Man the Arcade Game, the video game. Yeah, it looks like it works. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That should work. Spider-Man the video game. And it's got a green light. Oh, wait, no, it says imperfect graphics as well. Oh, okay. It's so it's kind of like the X Men video game, basically. I see what you have to do there. I see. But we're going to go back and get this butterfly. Let's see what this does. Guess I can't get them? All right, well. Keep my 
I see a dragon. I see. Pass you out of here. All right. Have a good one. Pass. Oh, good. Here, hold on. Okay, I think you got it. Welcome to the Dreamweavers, young one. While chasing Nasty's minions in this world, you must expect the unexpected and prepare for what is not there. Safe, and then save, and then we'll go into Lofty Castle. Interesting, we only got three out of five of the no, three of the five. That's not what to do. I guess you, there's nothing you can do there. I guess they just kind of... Oh, wait. But there's a... Okay. Okay, and then that took me there. Okay. Okay, so I guess I have to go here. that way or can I go oh I guess I can go that way thanks for following all right let's jump we're gonna go this way okay <laughs> I don't know what that did all right let's follow her ah. <laughs> hey hello how are you doing? Happy Sunday. Okay, I think... Oh, I, I think I see what it is. I have to unleash all of the uh, berries, I bet you, and then they'll lift you up. Yeah, but I don't have all of them. That must be it. Three. Was there? That may be enough, but I need these mushrooms to get my dragonfly back. Here, one more. Oh, look, there's a free guy over there. Back to seven. I'm doing all right. Chillax him with some Spyro. Oh look, yeah, so we did we did free them all. And now we can go up here. Then we can get this dragon. Now this is my first playthrough of Spyro. Are always on your side, Spyro. And we're playing it on a uh, PS1. It's right here. I try to play my games on the original hardware. When it's economically, uh, 
viable. <laughs> You do have one of them for the PS4? Cool. Yeah, this is the very first one. And someone was telling me they've remade this. So this is... There is a remake of this. But I, I like playing, you know, the original games. You know, I think it's cool to see kind of the evolution of these games. Like, I... And kind of... In uh, in preparation of playing Tears of the Kingdom, I played all of the Legend of Zelda games. And it was fun playing all of them and from the beginning and seeing the evolution of Zelda. I mean, it's, it's quite fascinating. Is that what it's called? The Reignited Trilogy? Yeah. Cool. Right, eat another butterfly. Thank you for releasing me. Sixty. You had a Sega Genesis? Yeah, you know. <laughs> that kind of happened to me too with my original GameCube. Thanks for following. Okay. Wah! And maybe I'm supposed to go somewhere. Oh, you know what? I bet you I'm supposed to glide over here. Oh, uh, yeah. In fact, I did a very bad job. I should have gone up where I could get to that ferry. Let's go back. All right, move the camera. Uh-oh, 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 oh no! Here, I'll land here. <laughs> I, well, I've gotta be able to make that jump. Come on, there's gotta be a way to make that jump. Is that where that fairy went? Okay, let's see. All right, there's gotta be a way to make that jump. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, let's, let's get a mushroom. Just one of them. There we go. Get our dragonfly back. Let's go back up here. There's gotta be a way to make that jump. Alright, let's take a look at this again. Let's, let's analyze the situation here. That's what I thought. It was possible to get that. All right. Yeah, missed. All right, so now there's another thing. I wonder where this is gonna take me. Ha, ah, over to this one. All right, so now we've freed all three of them. And so that must allow us, yeah, go back over here. Wee. Now oh, he got me. Sometimes I'm always fighting the cameras. At least you can move the cameras. Some of these early games, you couldn't move the cameras. I feel like it's because they couldn't solve camera clipping problems. <laughs> this one you can actually, well, it's kind of like Mario. You can, you can hit one button, you can kind of look around. Man, this is a big level. Okay. 
guess I have to go that way. Right, let's get a butterfly. about that gap over there. Uh, this is making me nervous. I can't uh, swivel the camera around. That lit? Oh no, that's where the, they're going. Okay. Okay, here. We gotta go here. Okay, it looks like we can go there from here. Oh, that must be return home. <gasps> oh my god! No! Wait! <laughs> Maybe I should have tried to go back over there. All right, let's do this. Oh wait, this is way back here, okay. Uh. One thing that I don't like about this is they have, uh, the camera won't clip, but it bangs into the walls. I mean, it almost seems like I should go over there somehow. Because that's going to take me home. Oh. I don't get those butterflies. <laughs> Did you get all of them? Okay, we got that. Okay. Oh, dang it. Get all of them? I feel like we're missing one. Oh, it's, it's right in the front, it's right in front of my face. The question is, can I get? I don't think I can jump to that. All right, so let's go. <clears throat> let's go back over here. This just brings me back up here. But we still have one dragon. We're missing a dragon. Not that that's really stopped me before. <laughs> been up here. OK. 
Okay, interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Alright, let's do this again. There we go. That's how you do it. Yay, the other dragon. Oh, and the key. Ah, Spyro, thanks. Supercharge will get you to new places here in Lofty Castle, too. See where it takes you. Will it? I don't know if that took me anywhere new, but... I think I'm just going around in circles. Okay, I think... I think we're done. Let's, uh... Get that for my, my dragonfly friend. Where was the return home? It was over there, wasn't it? Yeah, I think I want to go. I don't know if I can make that either. Not a, this is not a good idea. I must have to circle around to get back there. Oh, well, we can do this again. Figure out like what we're supposed to do here. Shit. How about I waste all my extra lives? What the hell? It's like I dived. I totally didn't mean to do that. Yeah, see, I don't think this is where I was supposed to go. I'm a little too trigger happy. Okay. So, we need to kind of head this way. This is where we were at the beginning. And then we did this. Yeah, and then this took us in here. We went 
this way. We went this way. Let's get out of here. All right. And probably a good time to take a break, too. I think there was a save spot. Let's... There's the save. Always good to save. <laughs> All right, let's play some Fry's Quest. All right, so if you're new to the stream, Fry's Quest is the game we play when I'm going to take a break. And it's basically an RPG, and up to eight players from chat can uh, play. And so you just do exclamation mark join to, uh, to play. And I will unlock it for everyone, If since some of y'all already played. We let, since only eight players can play, we let people who haven't played play first. Or get in first. And I give it about 30 seconds, and if no new players want to play, I unlock it. Oh, there we go. We're having a special Is it day. electro clarinet? Yeah. Alright, so, you're, you're a new character. You have 21 gold. And so you want to do like exclamation mark buy W2 would buy the hammer that's in the second column there. Or you could buy the studded leather. Oh no, you can't buy that. <laughs> you could buy the wooden shield, which would be buy A1. So those are the, those are the commands, but basically all the commands are right here in this column right there. So that's it. That's how you play. And then you, you'll see when you get, there's three waves, there's three waves of monsters and you can target monsters or you can, there's different commands if you just look at here and you just kind of watch and see what everyone else is doing. But it pretty much plays itself, right? It kind of has to, because the only Ready way to control it is through Twitch chat, so it can't it can't be too complicated. It can't be too complicated. Yeah, weapon three, the short sword is twenty eight gold, and you have twenty one. You could get the hammer; it'd probably be the biggest weapon. Now you will get more gold after this battle, and the monsters are going to favor the higher level players, so you should survive. What do you have? You have eight hit points, so. There you go. Now you got a stick. <laughs> At least you'll do more damage than with your fists. <laughs> you could get, you could get the, um, Shops closed. Oh, there you have go. Fun counting sheep. All right, here come the monsters. Uh, good luck, everybody. I'll be right back, and I'll see you in a second.
Today only. 2% off when you spend 10000 or more. Ready for action. Ready for action. No, we aren't calling those Neil's heels. Ready for action. Ready for battle. Ready for battle. Ready for action. We're closed. Get out of here.
Welcome to Neil's Deals. Where else are you gonna go? Oh, I see you're buying a potion. It might prevent death. Ready Side effects action. might include growing mushrooms and warts and loss of sensation in naughty places. Ready for action. Hey, Rikuma, you might want to level up. It said you could level up. Fields of final. Ready for go. action. Ready for battle. I noticed. I know. I noticed that while you were sitting there, dead. <laughs> Yeah, so we were talking about how the monsters do seem a little bit tougher. I'll take a look at it and see uh, if I can uh, redo some of the monsters. So Electro Clarinet, I hope you're enjoying the game. Oh no, um, all dragons in the steel golem. <laughs> I know. There you go, taking out that steel golem first. There you go, nice job. Remember when it, we couldn't target and I added targeting? <laughs> that was like a game changer right there. Game changer. <laughs> what was that? I know, it, I know that's what it was, but it was weird. Game changer. <laughs> yeah, remember when Flaming Baguette was like the one that always got killed? <laughs> I remember when they all used to blame it on being Irish. Yeah. That, like that I had coded it to hate Irish people or something. I was like, uh, no. <laughs> they used to be giant spiders, exactly. <laughs> Petridge Farmers remembers. Yeah, amazing how Petridge Farmers remembers that. Irish curse was real. <laughs> It's funny because I, instead of drink potion, I did it as use item. Because uh, I was thinking we'd have different items by now. <laughs> but when I never created anything besides a potion. I guess you could have scrolls that did stuff. Thing is, you only have one pocket. So, I don't know. I've been trying to rethink the whole... Because y'all you know, been complaining that on mobile it's real tiny. So, maybe changing it up a little bit. So, we'll see. One pocket is fine. <laughs> a heal all scroll. Ooh, that would be, that would be cool. Cost 2k. Ooh, where you could revive one, one 
one player. Yeah. Especially when he gets down to like one 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 monster left, right? Yeah, yeah. We've thought about that. Kind of like the fairies in Zelda, right? Oh! Go on, hit the silver... There you go. I was like, hit that silver dragon! Look at that. See, I don't need to adjust the monsters. It's just fine. <laughs> just because y'all lost twice in a row doesn't mean. <laughs> All right, let's see who gets the fry. Zab got the fry. So you're right, it is rigged. So uh, uh, Electro Clarinet. So at the end of the game, we award a golden fry. And you need fries to level up. So you need... The amount of fries to get to the next level so for example in fact it, it looks like you can already level up to level two so you you need two fries you can also buy the fries for 200 gold in the um in the store so next game you could uh you could actually uh because you have 400 gold now you could actually level up if you wanted to you could buy two fries and level up but like uh rk bear needs 10 fries he's got four so he needs six more so, <laughs> yeah, Flaming Baguette's going to need 21 fries once he, once he gets there. So <laughs> he's going to need a lot of fries, but he's still not, he still needs more experience points. So anyway, yeah, that's Fry's Quest. Like I said, that's what we play. Uh, and you know what? So coming, it's August, September, October. In October, it'll be one year since I made Fry's Quest. And it has definitely changed. We'll have to do a Fry's Quest stream. Uh, maybe do something special for people who are here. Who attend the stream. Maybe there's some item I could give or something. I don't know. Yep, yep, I made it. Made it with Unity. Yeah, and so so we're always I'm always adding to it. Like right now. What I'm working on is uh, hair. <laughs> so I've got different hairstyles and different colored hair. And uh, so basically player customization is what I'm working on. So. Yeah, if you go to Discord and go into the, uh, there's a Fry's Quest channel and you can see kind of a preview of the, what the characters are going to look like. You'll get to 10 and then worry about upgrading armor. Yeah, it's always a balancing act between... Uh, how did I get here? Okay, here it is. Um, between like leveling up and getting armor. So you gotta remember, leveling up, you, you have a better chance of hitting. And so... Ah! And so if you level up, then you have a better chance of, of hitting. <laughs> so... 
Okay, so we know we can't go that way because those guys are mean. Yeah, you can do stats. Yeah, yeah, you can do stats at any time. The game's still running in the background. <laughs> and so, yeah, you can do stats and see what your stats are. Yeah, and it tells you uh, it tells you what your percentage. So you see, THP ten. That's to hit a protection ten. Which, if you ever played D and D, it's just like Thaco, which is to hit an armor class zero. I guess I go this way. Okay, I see what I have to do now. The, those guys there in the... So he's been shooting... He's been shooting the beams at people. Right? So now... Well, I guess what I need to do is shoot it. But I need to get those. Those are the ones I need to get. I was just wondering what was controlling. Zikomo. Hello, Spyro. Nicely done. I'll be done when I've toasted that nasty Nork. Okay. We got this side. Spin the camera around. What's this one? Is this the... I don't have a bit over here. Oh, I need to get... Yeah. Alright, so I guess we're going to... We haven't been to the Haunted Towers, right? What is going on there? Oh, that's weird. All right, the haunted towers. Don't know what that is. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, do I just need to avoid him? Oh my god. Interesting. I'm almost dead. 
need to find something to revive my dragonflies. Oh, thanks? Oh! Is this limited? Yeah, I see, see. Oh, I only got it for one. Interesting. Oh, see, I should have done it on the other one. <laughs> All right, well. Can I go back? Ah, camera. The camera. Okay, I can. Okay. Is he embarrassed? Is that what it is? <laughs> Oh, here. No, I still have it. Okay. It wasn't single use. It was just limited time. Okay. Good. Haha, <laughs> you didn't get me. Okay. Coco? Hey Spyro, all dragons know there's magic in a fairy's kiss. See what it can do to your power of flame. Yeah, we, we figured that out already. It's funny, they give you these tips, but it's like past when you would have had to have already figured that out to even get this far. Shit, oh fuck. You have a grenade? Oh, that was close. There's another, another fairy. Well, I guess I could. <laughs> the fairies look terrible. All right. Okay, it's definitely time based. this okay guess I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to roll through the whole thing they have to make it a curve oh come 
come on. It's in it, it is it, like, you know, you have to control it with the D-pad. I mean, I guess I could try it with the analog stick. See what else is in here. Let's get the kiss. Get the kiss. money. Oh my god. Alright, there we go. Behind this door. Hey, a dragon. Hold your horns. Here comes Spyro. Patience, little one. You'll soon have the opportunity to battle the one who matters most. Nasty North. Chests are worth quite a bit. And all those mushrooms, too. Oh my god. I always hate these right next to the edge because I'm afraid I'm going to fall off. Alright, we did it. Alright, so let's get the kiss one more time and then we'll go through the other door. Of course I'm gonna <laughs> gonna take so long to get over here that it's not gonna matter anymore. Oh just in time! <laughs> just in time. <laughs> <laughs> Just in time. Did you drop anything? That's that green gem. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. Alright, yeah. We're gonna need your help. <laughs> Get all of them? There we go. Streamer age. Is that how long? I know you can do follow age. How long you've been following. I guess that's how long your account's been around. <laughs> I don't know if I finished did I get everything haunted towers I, I well I missed the dragon oh because you know what I I I uh there was that one place where I shrunk the people and then didn't uh, didn't follow up on them. All right, well that's okay. 
Uh, well, so the next thing would be the boss. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. This... Oh, no, no. We are here. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. This is this is where we th where I thought we were. How do I get back over there? I don't think I can. Oh, can I go? No. So this is a bad idea. <laughs> that was a bad, <laughs> bad idea. All right, so we got to get to that middle, the rainbow dude in the middle. Oh man, that was just cruel. Fucking A. Oh my God. All right. <laughs> Get this. God, I can I can get those guys. Why does he have a freaky long arm? <laughs> I got a Spyro. ends in some stairs. Lofty Castle. We've done Lofty Castle. Spyro doesn't like water. I mean, we can we can try the icy flight. I, the flight ones I don't like. The... Oh, 
Damn, I'm so good at them. That was terrible. <laughs> no. I was so bad at those. Over here. Oh, it's the balloon. Where? <clears throat> Is the boss? There's a there should be a boss as well. There he is. <laughs> I was gonna say go to where the balloon is. It should be near the balloon. It was. Excuse me. I mean, I need, I need my... Oh, okay, I see. I see where it was. Okay. I guess we're going to Jacques. Confronting Jacques. <laughs> Butterfly. Yeah. Kind of knew that was going to happen. I keep, I keep hitting the wrong button. That's charge. Square charge. I have flowers and they're hitting me with the flowers and killing me. Living square. <laughs> it's been okay. She did. She got home safe, safe and sound. Yeah. 
back from London. And then she's got a, a new, uh, yep, glad to be home. Back in the United States. Uh, first meal she wanted was Tex-Mex, so we went out and ate. <laughs> we ate some Tex-Mex on uh, for dinner. There's. I feel like I need to get up. Couldn't do that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> she did show us some. Uh, English uh, uh, breakfast she had so they did uh, her and her boyfriend uh, traveled a little bit they went up to Edinburgh and they went to Amsterdam before coming home a little bit of vacation before she had to start start working in the real world <laughs> Wow, that is a short timer there. Fuck. thinking I can hit these cracks or something and they'll bust open. What's that? What's that one? Timing on these are so rough. I don't even see what this one does. God, timing. God. Hey, I got him. All right. Have a good one, Zab. Thanks for stopping by. What time is it? Oh yeah, it's, it's almost time to wrap up this stream here as well. Thank you, Murray. 29 months. Had a lot of resubs tonight. Thank you so much, everybody. gonna have trouble getting back up here if I go that way. <laughs> Let's see what's this way. Ha, ah, a dragon. I like this. I like this idea. 
Any Let's advice before this battle? Advice. Hmm. A wise dragon once told me, aim high in life, but watch out for flying boxes. Huh? <laughs> aim high in life and look out for flying what? Alright. I think this is like a boss. It's going alright. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! He killed me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, it hasn't been Bubsy 3D bad. Oh my god, he skilled me again, didn't he? Oh. <laughs> it's got it's coming out of the out of nowhere. Only one guy left. Oh fuck. Can I just reload? <laughs> That's not fair. How am I supposed to miss that? There, I did it! Yay! I'm worried about making this jump. <laughs> there we go, we made it. <laughs> All right. Three, what's it going to end at? 309. <laughs> oh. I guess let's see what the um because the balloon is just right here. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, plus we have to save. There, yeah, we did shock. And then the balloon is right here. We have everything. Nice job collecting so much stolen treasure. But beware, Spyro. Nasty's world is not the most friendly place you will find. Let's do it. Here we go. Last world, but this will have to just wait till tomorrow. <laughs> it's it's okay. It it's it's not nasty if it's spelled with a G N at the beginning. <laughs> Hey, didn't I already free you? You're in Nasty's world now, Spyro. And you are the dragon who must defeat him. 
Bring them on! I'm ready! Reach the exit in each of Nasty's lands. Then you can challenge the Nork himself. Alright, let's save. Game saved! Alright. <laughs> I hate that. Why does the transition do that? <laughs> I know, I've unleashed... How many dragons was that? 70 dragons? And they're not going to help me in any way? What the hell? <laughs> yeah, thanks, Flaming Baguette. And Dark Passenger. And Murray. And everyone else who hung out with me tonight. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're almost done with this game. I have uh, Castlevania uh, Lords of Shadow Mirror of Fate. It's weird that it has two bi subtitles. Anyway, uh, ready to go. It's already inserted into the, the 3DS. Ready, Charging. Ready to go. So, that'll be fun. So, um, yeah. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. And on Saturdays at 3 p.m. Eastern. I'll be back tomorrow night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern for more Spyro. And maybe, maybe starting Castlevania. We'll see. And then after Castlevania, Pokemon Black 2. We'll figure out the, the epic Pokemon Black uh, storyline. Oh, great. Yeah, Neil, are you ready for more Pokemon? Hmm. Well, and then we get to Worst Game Wednesday, you're going to help me play... Uh, Chef's Love Shack. So, because you're such a such a South Park fan, I may need help. <laughs> Isn't that supposed to be terrible? Well, it is a Worst Game Wednesday title, <laughs> so yes. <laughs> um, thank you to all these people right here. They're my subscribers. They get ad-free viewing. They get all those emotes. Thank you so much for subscribing, everyone. Thanks for all the resubs tonight. The Love Shack. I know, I keep wanting to call it the Love Sack, actually. <laughs> but it's Love Shack. Love Shack, baby. <laughs> yeah, the only two most recent ones are good. Yeah. Um, but that'll be fun. When is, I guess, August is almost over. But we still got, it's t still two weeks. It'll be September 6th uh, when we play that. So we got two more weeks. That would be another better name. <laughs> they are on the list. They are on the list. Yep. On the list. Um, I guess if you can't be here live, go give me a follow over on the YouTubes um, and TikTok. If you want to follow me on TikTok, same. I'm, I'm Jay Fry's TV everywhere. So just go follow me on all the socials. And, you know, I should also mention that uh, no matter where, I will always be at Jay Fry's TV. Uh, you can go to there to, to launch the stream, to go to any of the, um, any of my social net, no, any of my socials or you can go there first i usually link to it so it's, it's a nice hub so i always say like i broadcast on jay fry's tv <laughs> i just happen to use twitch.tv to use it to to do it but um you know who knows whatever happens if i don't think twitch is going anywhere but you know let's say it does go to twitch jay fry's tv you'll you'll be able to find me I'm sure y'all will be able to find me. Also, you can go over to the Discord and find me there as well. All right. I did get, uh, I got, uh, business cards. Um, for TwitchCon. So, let's see, I'll, I'll, I'll have an address on there, but it's my P.O. box. So you could send stuff to my address if you want, but here's my, uh, there's my my business card and then here's the back 
Isn't that cool? <laughs> I figured if I'm going to be walking around TwitchCon that uh, I might need a business card. So. Yeah. So professional. <laughs> I thought they turned out well. Turned out well. So I've got I've got a whole got a whole box of those to give <laughs> give away. They're, they're the box isn't full. <laughs> All right, did I do the raid messages? All right, copy those. Uh, copy the first one if you're a subscriber, and copy the second one if you're not a subscriber. And let's see who's out there that we could raid. <laughs> hey, if Diet Coke is there, I will definitely be asking them for a sponsorship. That's Super Nimbal doing. Splatterhouse 2. Oh yeah, he said he was doing a deathless run of Splatterhouse 2 on the Genesis. So let's go over there. Let's go. We usually raid... Uh, Super Nimbal on Sunday nights. It's just when our uh, our our things overlap. <laughs> I doubt. I don't know. I don't think. I don't think Diet Coke is thinking about sponsorships. <laughs> but I would totally. I would totally love Diet Coke sponsorship. That would be <laughs> awesome. That would be awesome. I mean, look, I have a giant Diet Coke plush on my couch and I wear dad bod. I don't think they would appreciate this shirt. <laughs> I don't. <th> <laughs> I, I have a feeling they wouldn't appreciate it. <laughs> Although it's true. <laughs> Murray's the one that pointed the shirt out to me and I bought it because he pointed it out to me. There you go. Yeah. I mean, I whatever they would want. I mean, I don't know what they'd want. I just don't see them. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what their plans are for Diet Coke. They've probably given up. They'd probably want me to sponsor Coke Zero or something like that. Diet Coke actually. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> They'd be like, oh, we can't, we can't sponsor this guy. <laughs> We can't have this guy uh, representing our brand. <laughs> All right. Thanks again, everyone, for being here. See you tomorrow night for more Spyro. Stay safe. Love you all. <laughs>